Hi everyone, today we are making an attractive yet unique lion dance theme buns. These buns usually serve during Chinese New Year as a symbol of good luck and prosperity. In this recipe, I will guide you step by step how to form the face of the lion dance and also a few tips to make this flavorful black sesame filling. I hope that you enjoy the recipe. Let's prepare the filling first. Rinse mung beans until the water runs clear and transfer it to a medium pan. Add in the water. Cook over medium high heat until the beans are tender. Set aside. I suggest to use store-bought roasted black sesame for best result. Japanese brand is my favorite. The moment you open the package, you will be able to sense their exquisite aroma as well as the slightly sweet and elegant taste. Crush sesame seeds into fine powder. I use my spice grinder to do this. If you don't have one, coffee grinder or mortar and pestle works well too. Now, I will pour the blended cooked mung beans along with the rest ingredients into a non-stick pan. Mix well until there are no lumps. Cook over medium high heat and keep stirring. Please note, never leave it out when cooking this mixture. This process will take for about 10 to 15 minutes. The water will slowly evaporate and the mixture start to thicken. Once the mixture forms a thick paste, turn down the heat to medium low and continue cook until the paste comes together and no longer sticks to the pan. Once it's done, pour it into a plate. Cover it with a cling wrap to prevent from drying out. And then, store it in the fridge for at least one hour to firm up. After one hour, the fillings become denser. Take two portions of the paste, 60 gram each, and roll it into a ball. You can use the remaining filling to fill mochi, or maybe spread it on your favorite bread. And for the lion dance details, simply combine the alpars flour, instant yeast, and sugar. Pour in the water and shortening, and stir until just combined. Using your hand, gather all the dough until it forms a cohesive ball. And then, on a work surface, you can start kneading the dough. Knead for about 4 to 5 minutes until it becomes really smooth. The temperature of your surrounding and the amount of yeast used is important. When the weather turns cold, the dough will not ferment so quickly, so it is more suitable for making styled buns. So, using air conditioner in warm place is necessary, and also keep the dough always be covered during the process so it doesn't dry out. After kneading for about 5 minutes, now you can see that the dough become really smooth. I will divide and coloring the dough as needed. If you like to use natural food coloring powder, you may need to dilute it with a little bit of water so it blends easily into the dough. So here I have 30 grams for the red dough, 90 grams white, 55 grams yellow, 20 grams blue, and 15 grams each for the green and black. Then for the bun's dough, actually the process is the same as the dough we just made. The difference is that in this dough, we add food coloring directly during the mixing process. Once the dough is ready, we can start shaping our beautiful lion dance. So, I will divide the bun's dough into two equal portions, about 80 grams each. Take one portion of the dough, roll it into a ball, flatten it. Using rolling pin, 
roll the dough into 10 cm diameter thick DS. Place the filling in the center of the dough. Then, using your right hand, slowly squeeze and push the wrapper up, while left thumb press the filling down. Pins to seal. Make sure that you seal the buns properly to prevent the filling from leaking. After all the buns dough is done, it's time to add the details. To create line dance beautiful big eyes, Cut some blue, white, yellow, red, and black color dough. Using water as a glue, stick its circles to the blue shape. Attach both eyes to the head. Please note that the eye position should be one third from the top. Don't be too low, otherwise your line dance will not look mighty, but sleepy. And for the fur of the eyes and mustache, roll some white dough, attach and tuck it behind the eyes, cut the excess dough. Some white and yellow dough for its mouth and giant tooth. <laughs> it looks so funny. Then I'll use my small scissors to create a fur effect. The more you cut it, actually the better. Add some decorations to the forehead. A tiny head to make it even cuter. And don't forget his big ears. Then the nose balls. And finally, the bells on both sides of his face. So pretty and colorful. Once it's done, put them in a the steamer. Make sure that you give some space in between the buns so they won't stick one another after fermentation or steaming. Cover and allow to rise until double in size for about 20 to 45 minutes. And if you gently press it with your finger, the dough will make indentation and be able to slowly bounce back into shape. Our buns are ready to steam. Steam over high heat for 18 minutes. If you are using metal or plastic steamer, make sure that you cover the lid with a piece of cloth so the condensation during steaming won't ruin the look of your buns. After 18 minutes, take the steamer off from the heat do not open the lid and let it sit for another 3 minutes. This way, the buns will not sink or wrinkle due to the sudden change in temperature. These vibrant line dance buns are truly a work of art. It is a symbol of good fortune and strength. I think this will be a really special gift for someone. The buns is really soft and fluffy. You can see how spongy it is. <laughs> the thick sesame paste inside has a significant aroma and a toasty sesame flavor. Really tasty. Contrast with the color of the buns. So mesmerized. Thank you so much for watching. 
Wishing you wealth and prosperity. May the dragon bring you success and energy in the upcoming year. Happy Chinese year, everyone. Thank you.